Hey, fellow gamers, it's Cozy Mel, and I'm here with a video for you from Palea. What you are seeing on the screen is a new release from Singularity 6 to tease us about what's coming up on April 23rd in our next update, which would be 0 0.179. So this is what we have to look forward to, and we are going to talk about this video in depth right this very minute. Well, this is some big news this morning. Um, the uh, Singularity Six Corporation <laughs> dropped a little short video onto my Discord. Anyway, I'm sure it is a copyrighted film on their part, but I have seen that it has been copied and pasted into many places now. So I wanted to go ahead and share it with you with the understanding that this belongs, this intellectual property belongs to Singularity Six and not to me. And I am just sharing it with you. Okay, so as if our yards are now not full enough with the most beautiful items from the spring collection, like this lovely swing and all these flowers that I've placed around my bonsai and this gorgeous pergola, you know, that's dripping with wisteria. And, and a giant frog, for heaven's sake. A pavilion that we can use to do whatever we would like to do in our pavilion. Which, one of these days, I'm going to figure out. We are now going to have a courtyard. So that is amazing. They have added a full four-sided courtyard to the game. They are calling this release 0 0.179. So this is the next patch in Palea history. And this patch is due out on April 23rd. Now, I would have guessed um, that we would not see anything new until April 30th. And I would have been wrong. So, April 23rd, 2024, we are getting the Courtyard add-on. We are also getting Friendship Level 5 quests for all of the NPCs. So, you are able to be friends with every NPC in the game. I cannot think of one that you are not allowed to be friends with. This is not romance that's limited to only some characters. This is friendship. So I believe there are about 30 NPCs in the game. So that, as an example, if there's 29 or 30 NPCs, that means you now have 29 or 30 new quests that you will need to do. So if you're at level four with everyone, you may have to work up to level five. And then when you get to level five, you'll get the level five quest. But that means you have 29 or 30 people that you need to get to level five by talking to them and gifting them every day. And then once you get them to level five, you would be receiving a new quest to do with them. And as I said, normally these quests that we do at the friendship levels of two, three, and four are a, lo a little bit complicated. They normally have a couple of steps. They normally are not a fetch one and done quest. You normally don't go to the NPC and they say, if you bring me one flow wood plank, we will be friends forever. That's not usually how it is. Normally it is a way to get to know more about that NPC's entire life and history. So that is quite a bit of new content coming in this patch. We are also expecting to receive the ammo pouch. They are promising the ammo pouch. Now, the ammo pouch has had a very rugged history. They started talking about it, I think in September or October last year, and they said we were way too soon to talk about it. We should not have mentioned it at that time. We weren't ready to implement it. And 
in order to implement the ammo pouch, it takes a lot more coding and work than we had anticipated we could do at that time. So they delayed it and said it's going to be a few more months. And then in our last update, they teased us that the ammo pouch would be coming and they teased us that level five friendship quests would be coming. And so now they are saying we are getting them on April 23rd. So hopefully that will work out. Now, my personal Mother's Day wish was to have more flowers in Paleo. No, it wasn't at all. But hey, it's a great Mother's Day wish because now we're going to get more flowers. Yeah, I know. I still want that pile of gold, but you know, that's never happening. I'll take the flowers. At least these don't die. So we are getting some more flowers and they are teasing us on this and not showing us any pictures in advance. So we'll just have to wait and see on the 23rd what we get. And they are also um, telling us that we will be able to participate in STEAM achievements. If you do not play on STEAM, I assume you would have to make a STEAM account and play on STEAM in order to participate. As I understand it, and I do have a STEAM account, and I have had for years, but I have never looked at the STEAM achievements. So I'm not sure how that system works exactly. Um, I tried to look into it a little bit this morning, and it did not act like this is something where they keep track of what you do, and then you get prizes or money to spend on STEAM or anything like that. It sounds to me like this is just a personal achievement panel type thing where you can keep track of the things you've done. And when you reach certain milestones, you would be able to display that on your Steam character or your Steam account. You can personalize what people see when they look at your Steam person, NPC, avatar, account. I don't know how you would say it. Okay, the other things that are not specifically told we will be getting, these are just guesses and hints, okay? Nothing that I say from this point forward is promised. The things that are promised, I already mentioned, the courtyard add-on, level five friendship quests, ammo pouch, new flowers, and steam achievements. But if you look at the video, there are a couple of other things. For one thing, it shows a player snapping their fingers, sparkles come up. They jump in, in the air and turn in a circle. Um, and it almost looks like they appear somewhere. Now, to me, this would be some sort of magic. And of course, so far, we have not been openly using magic so much um, as humans in, uh, you know, in Majiri territory. Uh, the only one openly using magic that we have seen snap her fingers or point her hand and do something was, you know, uh, Subira when she saved Ani from being run over by her coach. But I thought it was interesting. Then they also showed an outfit that looks like somebody that would be hiding, somebody that would be secretive. It has a hood almost covering your face. Somebody that would be a thief in some games would wear hoods like that. And then it showed three people with that uh, balaclava looking thing wrapped around their head and face. And they are on top of a building in Kilima as if they're doing something sneaky. So, you know, it could, uh, we don't know, that it could be good sneaky. They could be trying to catch the cartel bad guys for Subira, uh, something like that. But in, in some way or another, I don't know what, if that is leading into a quest or if that is just a new clothing item that you can buy at the premium store so that you can look sneaky when you're walking around Palea. It could be any of those things or it could mean nothing. But I don't know why they would have bothered to put it in the video if it means nothing. You know, the other thing that was featured in the video is Ashura. They showed Ashura for a few, four or five seconds, kind of a focus on his face. Then they showed Wrath for four or five seconds and they focused on him and he was very excited about something. 
So Ashura and Reth, well, they are friends with each other. They work together. Reth works for Ashura. Whenever you want to know a gift to give Ashura, you usually ask Reth because he normally tells you more often what Ashura wants than he does what he wants himself. That kind of thing. Um, so they're synergistic in the game, sort of friends. So anyway, there could be something to do with Ashura and Wrath in all of this. And Ashura has he used to be in the war many years ago, and he doesn't like war. And he's been estranged from his son for a long time. Um, <clears throat> I don't know. I don't know what Ashura could have to do with this. But Ashura has also been finding out behind the scenes that wrath has been working for Zeki. Well, or with Zeki, sort of. Reth got involved with the cartel because he needed Flo in order to uh, help cure his sister Tish. Tish had a very serious illness, uh, probably a life-threatening illness. She was probably dying. She has no idea that the little ornament he gave her to wear in her hair every day is filled with some sort of flow magic that is curing her or keeping her alive. He knows he's the one who did it. She does not know. So, um, and then Reth, because of that, has to do work for the cartel. He doesn't want to. He's forced to because they're blackmailing him because they gave him a flow instrument he could use to heal his sister. So he's up to his neck in trouble with the cartel, but not in a bad way, not because he's bad or evil, but because he needed to help his sister. So I'm sure Subira wouldn't hold that against him. Um, she would probably want to help him get out from under the cartel by, you know, possibly capturing the cartel leaders or something. So either he's excited about that or he's invented a new soup or a quadrillion century egg or gosh only knows. But anyway, he's excited about something and Ashura is excited about something. And we don't know how those two characters mix other than working together and both of them knowing about the cartel issues that have been going on. And every time that Reth hides things from Ashura, Ashura almost always finds out. He just doesn't tell Reth that he knows. So it's probably likely that he knows that, you know, Reth has given his sister an ornament to wear in her hair that is very likely keeping her alive even though Tish doesn't realize it. But Tish is very sweet and innocent, so I can see why she wouldn't realize it. But it's lucky that she hasn't decided to stop wearing the flower in her hair. Thank goodness. <laughs> but anyway, that's what we've got so far. And those things are just speculation because it's fun to speculate. But we, we just don't know what's going to be happening with those things. But as far as the things that we do know are going to be happening on April 23rd, 2024 is uh, patch 0 0.179 will drop. I am going to assume there will be some downtime, but they have not announced the downtime yet. And at that time, we will be getting a courtyard add on friendship level five for all of our NPCs, the ammo pouch, more new flowers in time for Mother's Day and steam achievements will go live. So, okay, that's it. So I hope this is good news, happy news for lots of you. And you will like and subscribe and ring that bell so you don't miss any of my videos. You'll know when I drop one. And I appreciate every single one of you for helping me get to a 1,000. I'm so excited. I'm a YouTube partner. And it's onward and upward. From there, I would really love to be a paleo partner. But I applied a couple of months ago, and I haven't heard a word. I can't imagine it. I, they must be so busy there with so many less people there. You know, there's a, a lot smaller workforce trying to do the same amount of work. I can't imagine they're going to get to some stupid little application from me uh, anytime soon. <laughs> but I, I did apply so that I could be even more helpful to all of you lovely subscribers because it is helpful to you for me to be a paleo partner because that means they give me news a little bit earlier than other people get it. Um, and so I could pass it on to you a little bit earlier. So, you know, that's kind of a neat thing to have. So hopefully that'll happen someday. I'm, I'm trying to manifest it here <laughs> and I will see you in the next one.